what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we're gonna have to talk about alpha romeo's relaunch in the usa Yes, here in the United States, it may be a long time before Stellantis is able to properly relaunch Alpha and its 135 dealerships here in the States. And also here in Florida, it's the state with the most outlets, 19 equal to 14% total. And you guys know that my home base is in Daytona Beach, but I also go to Orlando, St. Petersburg, and I've even been down to Rick Case, Davey in Miami. And the Alfa Romeo automaker has been riding their high horse with the latest news here in the United States where the JD Power and Sales Satisfaction Survey had beat traditional leaders including Lexus and Cadillac. The sales in 2021 were 18,250 which shows that the 135 dealerships sold an average of 135 vehicles or 11 to 12 per month point of sale. Now that average has dropped about 85 vehicles per point this year based on sales through November. And this is some things to note because like most automakers, we have dealt with a pandemic. So for Alpha to thrive in the United States during all of this, well, that is praise that needs to be recognized. Now, riding on that high note next year in 2023, Alpha Male will be bringing the Tenali PHEV to the American market, which I can't wait to get in front of you guys. And it will be the only version of the SUV to be sold here in North America. Now, as we know, Stellantis intends to transform Alpha Male into its global premium brand. And to do so, it will have to grow a lot in the United States. Now, its relaunch well, it might be difficult in this market again as we've been going through very long and complicated times in fact it may take time before the house of libicione can establish itself here in a country where many do not know or still have very little knowledge about the historic milanese brand hey, i've been trying to do my best to kind of spread that knowledge and really do what i can on the internet side to bring more people to the alpha brand but there's only so much one small YouTuber can do. Now, not only is the Tonality coming towards May of 2023, but we also have the 2024 Julie and Stelvio refreshes that should be here by summer, which will mean we have a completely refreshed dealership. Now, Chris Theodore, former head of platform engineering at Chrysler, who now works at Ford, is a big fan of Alfa Romeo. And he believes that relaunching Alfa Romeo in America will be hard work and that will require constant and long lasting commitment and investment. He says that U.S. buyers don't really know what Alfa Romeo is and that only changes with investments and marketing consistency over a long period of time. Now, the president of marketing and product for Alfa Romeo North America says that Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares is getting the Milanese marquee to move forward step by step. He made it clear that we need to demonstrate a return on investment on everything we do. We need to be successful with the investment we have before we get more investment. And that makes total sense. You know, if you're going to invest in something, you need to make money from the investment in order to get more investments. It's quick maths, quick maths. Minus one, that's free, quick maths. Now, Alpha Romeo marketing plans on focusing on one word, sporty. Indeed, Alpha Romeo has always been synonymous with a sports car. So leaning on what people know seems logical. Obviously, it will be necessary to understand how this will be reconciled with the future range which will be largely 100% electric SUVs and crossovers. The plan for Alfa Romeo to become 100% BEV worldwide by 2027 is a thing. And by 2030, its range will include the addition of the Tonale, a D-segment sedan, a DSUV, a BSUV, a flagship E-segment, and a limited edition sports car with special derivatives of most vehicles. So on paper, the future here looks really rosy in North America, but Stellantis will have to figure out if its ideas will be shared by consumers who will be faced with a large choice of BEVs from Asian companies, including new entrants, as well as competing with German automakers, the constant stream of startups, and its own American brand like Dodge with the Hornet. So Alfa Romeo is going up against a lot here in the United States. And I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that, you know, with this move, Alfa may be dead in the United States, or with this move, Alfa Romeo killed themselves in the United States. There's also been talks of dealer network and things of reliability, et cetera, et cetera. And then new models, that's the biggest thing there. With the Tonale and the refresh Julian Stelvio, giving some life to the brand, this may be a huge year for Alfa Romeo in 2023 to get things rolling here in the United States. But with that said, do you guys agree with a lot that was said from the quotations, my experience and opinions, or what everyone else has been saying on the interwebs? Drop those comments down below. Is it gonna be hard for Alfro Mail to really stamp their foot 
and plant their ground here in the United States? And if so, what needs to happen in order for them to do so? Drop those comments down below, guys. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we have a bigger discussion on the relaunch of Alfa Romeo in the USA and how hard will it really be? Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that extra love, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. I'm working on some beanies for the winter. Make sure you guys check out the hoodies as well. And make sure you guys check out my social media pages and subscribe to the channel. But click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.